Well, Terrence Malick brings together an all-star cast for his latest film, Night of Cups. Yeah, centering around Rick, played by Christian Bale, and his search for love and truth, the film also stars Kate Blanchett, Natalie Portman, and Brian Dennehy as his father. Take a look. I'm proud of you. You've done well. Better than me. Which is the way it's supposed to be. And Brian is here with us now. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us about this process of working with, with Terrence. Um, you know, he has his reputation for working without scripts. Was that the case with this particular film? And what Pretty was that Pretty much, like? yeah. I mean, he had, he had a very strong idea of what he was looking for. And then uh, he would shove us in front of the rolling camera and say, uh, <laughs> say something along these lines. And we would improv. And we shot a lot of stuff. Camera never stopped rolling. Is that uh, fun for you? Yeah. Hectic for you? Yeah, it was Stressful? Yeah, he's an interesting guy. I mean, yeah. he's, a genuine, he's a genuine, uh, a real life intellectual. I mean, mm. Soma Kamalade from Harvard and a teacher at MIT. Yeah. Brilliant guy. And uh, he makes really interesting, provocative pictures, which is why you have this extraordinary cast. Yeah, yeah. so his movies. I'm sure as hell didn't do it for the money. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> His movies are, are like art, and you know, very often people say you have to experience them. You can't even well, define yeah, them. It's not for everybody. I mean, if somebody, some, somebody whose idea of a, of a movie star is Sly Stallone or somebody, you know, or some, and the action, a lot of action, they're not gonna, they're not gonna enjoy this movie. But if you are, as I am, a reader and a thinker, uh, I'm not to say that to myself. For myself, my own feel, <laughs> good feelings. It's it's uh, it's really provocative to work yeah. with somebody like him. He he pushes you, and he you have to you. trust him too. Well, you have to trust him in the, in the editing room that he's going to cut to 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 your advantage and to his. Yeah. But you know, I'm I'm a stage actor. I mean, I, I do a lot of theater. Yeah. And uh, so I depend upon people like Arthur Miller and Eugene O'Neill long after they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> to, tr to trust uh, they know what they're doing and yeah. uh, and with this guy he's a he's a brilliant amazing alive interesting man and he makes interesting pictures and it's really a pleasure to be but how do you all as actors know what to say you know we mentioned all the, the all-star cast in this and I mean do you all get together before you're on camera to kind of discuss well it? I mean we are human beings yeah but <laughs> still most of us anyway some uh, there are some questionable types but, but you no know, <laughs> I mean, we uh, yeah, we're we're actors, and we we're used we're used to learning material and performing it. Yeah. At the same time, uh, improv is a completely legitimate part of what we do. And in the case of this particular gentleman, uh, the, the ideas that he has about success and what happens when you hold success in your hand and things have worked out, what do you do with it? Yeah. What do you, what do, you do then? How do you live with that? There, do you? Take chances with it. Do you gamble with it? Do you protect it? Yeah. Do you have so, a good time. Take advantage of all the opportunities that exist out there, which may not be good for you. This seems like a great project for an actor. But I, it, there's another project you're getting involved in. You say you're a theater guy. There's another experimental uh, oh, project you're doing. White Rabbit, Red Rabbit. Tell I, us a little I about this. I was just on this. the phone with Nathan Lane and cursing him about <laughs> because he's responsible for it. The, the gimmick <laughs> is that the actor, whoever he or she may be, it makes no difference walks out to the microphone and one assumes that there's a, a chair there and is handed a, a, a manila envelope which he or she opens, takes out the material, having not seen it before, and reads it, performs it to the audience. So are you on stage on alone? Are, you, are there other actors yourself. there Oh my you? goodness. And you have, not look, you have not seen the material before. If you're not cheating, <laughs> now, I suspect some of my fellow actors are going to be cheating. <laughs> so you're really But you I won't, won't. Lane. I won't, no, won't. because I've looked completely through the net and couldn't find it. <laughs> so I am not cheating. I am playing it honest and square. I'll read it for the first time. Oh, of that's you are, because you're exciting. a theater guy. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, through and through. The, the theater guys do rarest, too, you know. Does yeah, that make yeah. you nervous, We get a though? chance to read Of course it makes me nervous. Oh, so you do get nervous. I'll, I'll start that sentence again from, from the beginning, please. Let me tell you. you. can't do that either. You just have to keep going. So. Yeah. This is interesting. Yeah. Well, you can catch Brian in Night of Cups playing at the Sunshine Cinema in Lincoln Square 13 tomorrow and Nationwide March 11. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a pleasure to be here, <laughs> especially with those here. shoes that you're wearing. I know. We can get you, you know how many leopards had to die for to make those shoes? <laughs>
They're you should wear these on the day. Spikes, too. A spike right and there's through a spike. his arm. <laughs>